The performance of the 2022 fiscal year has been scored by many as unimpressive, with mounting inflationary pressure, low oil production and other developmental issues placing limits to economic growth. In this next report, our correspondent, Falashade Ogurinde, takes a look at major events that shaped the business world in 2022. For the business world, the Finance Bill 2022 is perhaps the biggest fiscal bill, proposing key reforms to specific taxation, customs, excise, fiscal and other relevant laws. But industry experts believe the Finance Bill was hastily passed, as the bill leaves undue burden of more taxation on investors, which would be counterproductive for the economy. The focus should have been more on accountability and governance of the amount being contributed uh, before any increases, plus if you just increase the rate last year, why increase it again at a time when the business community and the private sector generally are struggling and they are overboarding by taxes? One of the most controversial topics of 2022 is the federal government's aggressive borrowing. As of the third quarter of 2022, Nigeria's public debt reached 44.6 trillion naira. However, this number is set to rise to as high as 77 trillion naira if the National Assembly approves the request by President Muhammad Obari to restructure the ways and means advances. The Director General of the Debt Management Office, Pishen Suniha, explained that the debt would be 70 trillion naira without the 5 trillion naira new borrowing and 2 trillion naira promissory notes. If you add uh the new borrowing, again, the budget is for the full year, so it's not like the entire new borrowing in the budget will be raised uh, before the end of this administration. Certainly, some part of that will be done, give or take, say, depending on market conditions, five trillion. So you're looking anywhere at about 72 trillion. A significant event in the 2022 fiscal year was the signing of the 2023 Appropriation Bill of 21.83 trillion naira into law by President Mohamed Abari. While this administration has been able to maintain a budget cycle of January to December in the past four years, experts say the budget deficit of 12.1 trillion naira may plunge Nigeria into huge borrowing capable of creating economic setback for the country. For the first time in recent history, we are going to spend more on debt service than capital expenditure. What does that mean? Less than 6 trillion naira is what is going on capital according to the budget. 6.55, that's more than 6 trillion naira. We go on debt service, not to pay back debt. So these are issues that uh, we need to, that, that has been observed in, in the 2023 budget just presented. I'll uh, just sign, I beg your pardon, my president, Wari. With the downward trend of the global economy, the resurge in cases of COVID-19 in China, prospects for economic growth in the sub-Saharan nation continues to hang in the balance. Fulashadi Ogurinde, TV360 News.